Hola guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I have a combination of Goodwill and and um, oh, an antique haul, like antiquing. Like I went antiquing with my husband. <laughs> guys, you know I'm a mess. Anyways, these are like where I have my booth, they do like a thing where like I believe it's the very last Thursday of the month. Or is it the beginning of the month? The last Thursday they have sales everybody has a sale either 50 25 20 10 whatever and so my husband and i like to take advantage and go see what they have and so i've been accumulating things like this is stuff and i'm probably gonna miss out some items but i'm just gonna show you what i remember and i'm looking right here and i can tell you right now that i have items that i am already using to do joe um my hutch in honor of my son who passed away because his birthday is November 8th. I also have what I call Happy Mail from a beautiful, beautiful YouTuber named Abby. Um, she has an amazing home and an amazing channel. Her content is just, you're gonna love her. I will put her channel in the description down below. Go show her some love, tell her I sent you. Um, I haven't been able to open her package because you all know I've been super sick. And I'm still just dealing with a lot, but you know, and you're gonna hear my grandson, he's playing with his um, tablet. So this is the package that she sent to me. I kind of cut it a little bit just so I didn't, you know, um, take too much time on camera because like I said, I have a really long haul and I don't want like keep you guys, you know. Oh, her writing is beautiful. Look at her writing, beautiful. She doesn't mind that I'm going to read this. No, it says, hi, Jay, love. Well, hi, Jay with a heart. It says, I wanted to send you these beautiful ornaments that reminded me of you. You are truly a light to this world. So thankful we have met Abby. She is the cutest thing. I'm telling you. And it looks like this inside. I'm so excited. Because she has amazing taste. Amazing, amazing taste. Oh. Man, she wraps this really nice. Oh, maybe it's in the thing. Hold on, hold on, guys. <clears throat> oh, she put them here. My nose always gets itchy when I'm recording. So she sent me. Um, oh, this is so cute. Oh, my God. It is so beautiful. I love that, Abby. Thank you. Oh, I already see a little butterfly. Oh, this is so pretty. I was just talking to my daughter that I really need to find like a cute little butterfly that I can lay around and she sends me one. Oh my God, just the fact that she thought of me. Oh my gosh, she has a heart of gold, okay? Oh, I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it so, so much. Oh, my God. This is stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this heart. This is definitely going on my tree because this year I'm putting a new tree because it has color lights and my husband's been wanting something like that. I usually do clear, but being that I'm also, um, I honor my son and my son liked the color blue and the reds and all that stuff. I really want to put like colors. And I think these will look so beautiful. Oh, you are the best, hon. I love these. Like, how beautiful. I'm telling you, she has an eye for just beauty, okay? And she's a beautiful person herself. So please go check her out. Show her some love. Like I said, you will love her content. Her home is beautiful. Like, I'm just telling you. I'm not saying this just to say this, but she's a young lady and to be young and everything is just, I don't know. She just has a beautiful soul and the love that she puts in her home, you can see it. And she's just amazing. So go check her out. Abby, again, thank you. Thank you so much. I wish I could hug you and squeeze you. I am so thankful that we have met here too. And, uh, and I'm thankful that you thought about me and you send these things to me. They mean the world to me. The heart, the butterfly, and the angel to the T, my love. To the okay, tea. guys, now on to my haul. Oh, my God. Like, I'm looking over here, and I don't even know if I can get through it fast enough. So, I'm going to probably be out of frame here and there, but I'm sorry. So, <laughs> please bear with me. Um, I bought this little box from one of my, like, um, you know, one of my little, like, 
little next door neighbor um, booth owner. This one was um, 75% out of $24.99. And it looks like this. Do I have it the wrong way? I don't know. I'm assuming it's like a little jewelry box. But I was thinking I can use it in my hutch or somewhere in my house and just do a little like like a little scene or something of Joelle or like, you know, I don't know. I use it like a little house or something. Again, it was 75% off. I know you can't see that that well, but it's just a cute little wooden vintage box. And I don't know, I thought it was cute for me to do something with it. So like I said, I apologize for the noise. You know, people live here, guys, people live here. Then I got this mirror for 50% off. And I already have a little one, but it's more like an oval size right there where I got my finger or is it? Yeah, I think it's over there. And I have a little like setup for Joel there too. I have a setup for my son everywhere. Right now I'm doing, um, you know, Dia de los Muertos coming. So I'm, okay, I'm back. <laughs> the kids are just, anyways, so I got this mirror and it was 50% off. So I got it for $5 and I was super excited because it's a nice size um to get those i really like those you can use them as tray put put them in your vanity put them anywhere you want you know so i'm just gonna grab random bags um i got this cute little recipe box because after the holidays i just have an idea in mind i don't know if it's gonna work out as how i want to decorate my kitchen and stuff and I've been kind of wanting one of these little recipe boxes. The ones I come across good were not, uh, you know. It was $12.99. She did have a 20% off this one. So I picked that one up. And then I got these because, I don't know. I just thought they were cute to put like in a little um, like cake plate or something. Just sit them there. It's just these little fake um, breads. They were $1.50 each. So... I thought these would be fun for me to set out, you know, in my kitchen after the hot. Yeah, I could even do it for the holidays if I like. And, oh, there's another one. I guess I was just picking them away. <laughs> and, and I'm going to show you little random things that I have that, I don't know. I picked up these little spoons from Hobby Lobby, $3.99. They were still 40% when I picked them up. So... Yeah, that was sitting there. I might as well show you. Um, I'm trying to stick to everything that is from the antique shop first, and then I would know I'm out of frame, guys. I know, but and then this one was 50% off. I'm trying to get like um, Santa mugs. This one's not like the kind of style really that I'm looking for, or whatever. But um, if I don't. When I start decorating, if it's not, you know, I can always just resell it, but it's cute. And it was 50% off of $7, so I paid $3.50 for it. I don't know, I thought it was pretty. Um, What else can I show you guys? This was also from the um, antique shop, these three little baskets which is crazy because I have some for sale just like this, but they're bigger. These were just, they were $3.99. I just picked them up recently. These were not on the sale time that they have going on. So I was thinking how cute would these be to hang on my, like on my peg rail thing and put a, a whole bunch of like um, Christmas trees hanging there with like some twinkle lights. I think that would be super cute. Then I picked up this book from there too. It was not on sale. But I really been looking for the Christmas Carol book. I wanted a little older, more vintagey vibe. This one is from, I believe, um, when I looked it up, it was two, 2021. But I still want a Christmas Carol, and I thought it would be cute to just set out um, for Christmas. And um, I'm trying to grab all my bags from the vintage, from the antique shop. This was. Um, seven dollars fifty percent off. So I paid three fifty, and I thought, how cute if I can find a nice little plush Santa that I can sit here and put him right next to. I have an idea of where I can put the Santa, and like, um, like a, I have this gold little coin 
if I see if I find it in my garage because I have everything in boxes I will take a picture and I'll put it right next to um here but um I was thinking to put like a like a, a little pipe and a coin like you know Santa's just relaxing and all his stuff is just laying next it's sitting next to him and eventually I I I mean, apparently, it looks like I was having fun picking up these fake birds. <laughs> this was also a dollar fifty, but I think they're cute to display in my kitchen. Then I got this for three fifty. I don't know; it's probably from Hobby Lobby, but I don't know if it's vintage or not. And she's always putting miscellaneous on her items, but I thought it was cute to keep in my kitchen. You know, nice little wooden scoop. Um, I'm already picking up stuff like. If I see it, God willing, you know, you never know in life, but like for Valentine's, for spring, summer, you know, and just set away ideas that I have in my head. That doesn't necessarily mean that they always work out that way. This was 50% off out of $4, so two bucks. It's just a little metal tin and it says Hershey's and I thought Hershey's Kisses is always amazing. Not amazing. It's always great for, um, for Valentine's to me. Um, this has been with me for a hot minute. It's just a little vintage Libby. Um, I forgot what they're called. Like midnight. I don't know. It was $1.99. So I picked it out because I thought it was really cute to put like a little, you know, once you, I forgot how you call that. When you start, when you start a little plant, you cut them and you put them in water. I thought that would be super cute for that. All right, let me see. Oh, and I do have this. Let me bend, guys. Let me bend. I have this cute little um, copper pot that has the little, like, lines or whatever you call this in brass. And I love the patina in it. And um, I don't know. She had it for 75% off at $19.99. So it was pretty cheap. I paid, like, I don't know, four something, three something, four. I don't know. I don't remember. But it's so cheap and also I told my husband I have to get it. I have to get it because I plan to put a little collection of copper stuff um, on my shelves when I do that, when they are replaced. So um, what else? These were also 50% off. Let me, I'm gonna take them out of the wrap. I also picked up this set. It was 50% off. I think the big one has the price. So I'll let you guys know right now um, were these cute. Um, contain canisters like you know um it says made in portugal j wilfred by um andrea by so i don't know i know it's a vintage brand because i have plates from that brand this one is obviously i guess tea this one is coffee i'm sure there's something missing out of this i'm not i'm not sure what it is but and then the big one, it says, it's farina. I don't know, it's almost like oatmeal. So so this was a set of three for $15, $14.99, and it was 50% off. So I was like, what? So they were $7.50 for the whole set at the store. And I thought that would be super cute sitting in my counters this um, spring and summer. And then I got this for 50% off, which I paid like $3 that I threw the bag out that I'm, cel I'm celebrating. I'm decorating for Joelle's um, stuff. It says Merry Christmas. And then this one, if you turn it around, says Welcome Friends. And then um, Easter Greetings. So I got that as well. And then I got, ooh, there goes my rolling pin. Ooh. This was 50% off out of $8, four bucks. So I thought after, like I said, once I clean for the holidays or whatever, I can put this like in a little wooden basket or just hang it by my fridge or something. And so, yeah, I don't know what my style is. I really don't. I really like dark and moody. And then there's times that I just want it like for the summer, spring, I just want to brighten up a little bit. And so I like to put blues and stuff in my kitchen. And with that being said, I've been wanting to collect, oh, I forgot stuff in my garage. You see, I have a lot of stuff. But that being said, I've been wanting to collect um, rolling pins, vintage rolling pins, but I want them to have like colors, different colors. So I got this red one for $5 and it was 20% off. So I got that one and then I got this um, neutral looking one for also $5. 
and I think this one was also 20% off. And um, yeah, I have to go get stuff in my, oh wait, I still have stuff here to show you guys from the antique shop. So, and then um, false press. I'm sorry about the noise, guys. I'm really sorry. It's something that I like depending on the item. And so we kept seeing this because she had this 50% off for quite some time now, this white picture. And so from $26, we got it for $13. And like I said, it's false scrap. I don't know if you can tell. And so I was thinking, you know, for the spring, summer, I could put it in my hutch and still use like browns and blacks. So I was thinking of mixing them up like creamy bowls, white bowls, and like some black ones, or maybe just throw the whites and blues that I've been wanting to do. Again, I gravitate towards blue because it was my son's favorite color. So that's just me um, as a grieving mom, my way of just bringing him home, you know? Um, what else do I have here? Um, I have a stocking, an 80 stocking that I got to put for Joel's Christmas. He was born in 1989. So somebody was selling it at one point for 50 cents, but um, I don't remember what I got it for, but it was cheap too. Um, I know I'm out of frame guys, but like I said, I'm just trying to get uh, all the stuff that I got. So let me see what I bought here to show you guys, because I don't remember. <laughs> And I really hate to make all this noise, but, oh yeah, there was this, um, I'm going to show you at the end of this video, my favorite, one of my favorite booths that she's like right next to me. And then there's another one across the street that I went to and somebody sells all their items for a dollar. So I will show you this clip here too as well. All items here are a dollar, but I can't seem to find anything. Maybe that's sand out there. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? They got so many stuff, but... <sighs> I'm kind of in a hurry. A dollar. Everything's a bucket. A dollar. Everything's a dollar. A dollar. These jars are nice for a dollar. Super cute. Look at that. A dollar, a dollar, what is this? Oh, those are those little things. Okay. Hmm. I got ribbon and stuff. Oh, how about these little green ones? Like that's a dollar. Everything's a dollar. That little vintage looking thing's a dollar. So everything was a dollar and I just picked up this little vintage -y looking Santa. Like I said, everything is a dollar in that spot. And I don't know, I just thought he was cute. I can just put him anywhere for my Christmas stuff, you know? And then I found, I was lucky enough to find little ornaments. Um, they have my boy's birthday, uh, birthday year. Like, if you guys don't know, Joel is my oldest. He will be, he would have been going on 35. And then um, Jonathan followed Joel. He was my second born. And he passed away in um, 1991. He was about a month old. I'm sorry, guys. And so um, when I find things that represent my boys, like this one says 1989 right there. And he's just the old little Santa sitting there again. They were a dollar. And then he says 1991. So I was lucky to find them for a dollar at the same spot. And I was like, it's meant to be. It's meant to be for me. <laughs> so I'm going to stop this video for like the 50th time. And I'm going to go get something that I left in the garage that I really want to share with you guys. Because I was super excited when I found it. And for the price that I found. All right. <laughs> so um, I've been wanting a, like a big old crock. But they are expensive expensive and i found this one and i know the reason why it was so cheap is because what is in front of it but it don't bother me one bit because it reminds me of my mom and the place that my mom have and i lost my mom too so <laughs> this is super heavy and so um it has the cute little hearts and the blues which i will probably use like this for valentine's 
you know, because I don't like to do like pinks and reds and stuff like that. I did at one point, but it was just like, it wouldn't go in my home. So like these deeper colors like that, they look better in my home. So I'll probably turn it around for um, Valentine's, but I figure for the price and I've been wanting one, I can just turn him around. And I want to put all my rolling pins in here and probably just stage it like on top of my dining table or something. And I completely forgot that I had <laughs> more fall and I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I'll probably just save them for next year. I thought she was so cute for $2. The lady makes them and I like to, I like to um, show her love. This one was 99 cents, this cute little wooden spoon. Again, I thought she was cute for me to like display here somewhere in my decor. And then I got these beautiful velvet um, pillow covers for my throw pillows. And I think this will be so nice for Christmas. And I pay, I believe $5 each. I don't think this person had a sale. But for $5 each, I was like, I'm taking them. So I got that that I wanted to show you guys. I've been wanting to show you guys that. I am so behind on videos, I'm telling you. And then, um, what else? I'm going to show you Goodwill, I think, now. If we come across something else, I apologize. But So I bought these rolling pins. $3.99 it was half off at the Goodwill. So I pay only 2 bucks, $1.99, whatever. And I just thought, like I said, I wanted to stage them in my, which I don't know, I might have to put something on the bottom because they'll be too deep down and I kind of want them to show. And this is kind of like metal and then wood, but I was like, it goes with my home. And I'm just, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna edit a lot of that out, which you probably didn't see that this thing flew off my hands and it landed all the way by my dog and it's gonna stay right there. All right, more Goodwill finds. Um, I'm going to keep some of these and sell some of these, but I got this whole big bag of copper molds for $7.99 and I'll show you really quick and they are heavy duty. They're not like the really light ones. So I got that one. Like I, I apologize for my grandkids. I got this one, which somebody was already selling. Then I got this one. And I got this one. Then I just got some little like cookie cutters in the bag. And I thought this was super cute. So, so cute. Like you can just um, put this somewhere like on a, and just hang, use it to hang things. I kind of want to keep this one for Valentine's. So we'll see if I do or not. And then I left him in the car like I do all the time. I want to I wanted still try to use him for Joel's Vintage Christmas. And he's lopsided. But what tree doesn't go to the side? He's a candle. $3.99. And I just thought how cute. They remind me of the Vintage Christmas trees. With all the little color beads. But like I said, I left him in the car. I'm still going to use them. I'm still going to use them. And then I got these cute little plates for $3.99. And so they all look the same. Okay, baby. They all look the same. I might keep one because I was thinking I want to put a tiny little clothes like this. Then I got this. My husband said he can take this out. I don't know, but we just got it because it looks like a really nice vintage mug i just hope with this gold stuff that they put i think it's the year that they put there i don't know what it is but we got that like i said i'm trying to collect them so i can put them this is my theme is a lot of bears for this um vintage christmas that i'm doing i grabbed them but i'm thinking i'll probably just sell them because i figure i already have a set these were like a dollar ninety nine, I think. I forgot to show you guys that I got this the yarn and the needle at the antique shop for I believe like ninety cents because the lady was moving and she had ninety percent off, and I think the whole thing was a nine dollar bag, nine eight dollars. So I paid not less than a dollar. So and this is these jars are from at homes. So I got the big one, the medium, 
And then I'll show you the one that I got from Goodwill for $5.99. And this is the one that I got for $5.99 from the Goodwill. I cleaned it really nice and it kind of matches really good. Those were a little expensive, so I didn't want to like keep spending money on those things. So I was happy. They have, if I have a picture, I think they had a larger one. I don't know if they were both the same size or if they were larger, but they were $5.99. I was like, I wish I would have, you know, cause sometimes I go to Goodwill looking for these and I don't find them. I was just lucky this time that I found this one for $5.99 I cleaned it. it and cute. another item that I got from Goodwill, this is for me to resell. Um, I don't want to take them out because it's a pain in the butt. It's just this popcorn set and blue was half off it was 9.99 so i got it for four bucks i mean for five dollars so i don't know they're really nice heavy duty bowls and i thought somebody will enjoy them for a couple of dollars with their family so i got to fix you guys and the last thing i got was a little splurge for me when it comes to goodwill but this is for me i'm not reselling this and my husband was like that is too expensive listen i'm gonna tell you a story about this okay it is this vessel or vase, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I have two things. I have two things. Um, look how beautiful she is. And she will look stunning in my home. <laughs> and when I turned her around, I was like, it's probably just, you know, from like Ross, Marshalls, Home Goods or something. She is from Pottery Barn. $49.50. $50 for this thing. I like Pottery Barn pieces. I bought a quite... A, a collection of like Santa stuff for my vintage Christmas because I want to do my kitchen all in one side off the Santa mugs and all that stuff but I did it through Facebook market because they are super expensive and it's not in my budget I'm gonna be honest with you and even if it wasn't my budget it's really hard for me to to think about like mm, do I really want to spend that kind of money on that so being that this was $49.50 at Pottery Barn originally does it say a year I don't think it has a year made in the philippines i don't know i just know that charles anyways i paid 19.99 i did and this i i thought about it i was ready to put her back and i just couldn't i just couldn't guys i couldn't look how beautiful look at the handles and um i was like well i don't know if the, originally she's like this or somebody did that but Anyways, I still love it. I love the handles more than anything. But um, I was thinking to myself, listen, girl, if you go to Pottery Barn and you see this vase for $50 and you see that it's on sale for $19.99, you're going to pick it up. I'm going to pick it up. I already know myself. So I was like, the only difference is that it's Goodwill and it was donated to them. And that's what kind of, kind of bothers me that they up the price because I see that it's a brand a popular um nicer little high-end brand i guess i don't know i don't even know what i'm talking about but you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> and so to have a nice piece i was like you know what i'm getting i'm willing to get rid of three four or five pieces in my house that are stuff that is just sitting in my thing for one nice vase you know and so I wish I could find a vintage one like this, but they are ridiculous. They are so expensive. So I was like, you know what? If I was at Pottery Barn right now and I see it for $19.99, I'm going to buy it. So whether it's good or not, I'm going to pick it up. And so I splurge a little bit on myself. And I got myself the Pottery Barn base. My husband doesn't know, but I got it. <laughs> All right, guys. I think this is it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's stuff scattered everywhere that I'm already using, but this is a long video as it is so again don't forget to check out abby i will put her this um her channel name on the description box below and um, I have a cough attack is this has been my life um so yeah don't forget to check out abby and i will uh, show you a little clip of the antique the little space that i love so so much anyways guys thank you for being here don't forget to please subscribe to my channel i'm really trying to grow this channel i feel like if i don't start growing this channel because I've been on the same number for a hot minute. And I know that doesn't matter. But my views are not all that either. So, you know, if it doesn't start moving around a little bit, then I don't know. I I'll see. Oh, I forgot about one piece. I'll see if I continue this channel or not. I got this for my daughter. 
because she's a big Friends fanatic. And it says, you're the Monica to my Rachel Friends. And this was not on sale, but I thought it was super cute to give to my daughter for Christmas. And, you know, party put gift cards, coffee gift cards and stuff like that. And her favorite candy. It's like a stocking gift. And so, yeah, I had to get it for my daughter. I screamed my daughter the minute I saw it. But, yeah, I will put some clips at the end. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe. It is free. And I'll see you guys on my next video. I'm not going to talk much because I'm going to get copyright. But this is one of my favorite booths here. Like, look at that chandelier. She's putting up a Christmas tree. Oh, my God. Her stuff is so beautiful. The way she has it set up. It's just so pretty. So, so pretty. Like, I love her spot. Look at that bag right there to die for. I love it, I love it, I love it. Like it's just so pretty. So, so pretty. I haven't showed you the top, the ceiling. Like it's just gorgeous.